Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be continuing our Magento series with the 55th Magento tutorial, and this is going to be on using Magento. So if you've noticed, I've set my theme back to the default temporarily, um, and you know, you might be wondering why we're going back and forth between theming and uh, using Magento, and really there's just enough topics for both things that I don't want uh, people who are following one or the other to uh, get bored here. So I'm going to be going back and forth, and as you can see, some of the things from our theming uh, series aren't going to be translating quite right, like we have the slideshow, but we never added this JavaScript to the uh, default theme. So some things like that will be weird, but uh, for the most part, these templates are set up better than the ones that we were creating uh, thus far in our theming tutorial. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing uh, something that's really interesting and it's going to be custom options for your products. So you might be wondering, um, you know, if you have a configurable product uh, that's cool, that like maybe you have a t-shirt with medium, small, whatever. Uh, we went over configurable products in a tutorial a long time ago. I think it was, let's see, um, it was tutorial number 12 in the Magento series. And uh, configurable products allow you to set up uh, multiple SKU numbers and have those all connected so you'd have a drop down for small, medium, large. But what happens if, let's say, maybe it's a one time off thing, or let's say we have this phone here um, that we're selling, but this particular phone has a certain option, but none of the other phones do. You, you know, it, is it going to be worth creating an attribute and then um, creating a configurable product? Well, in my opinion, no. I, there's a there's a better way to do it, and I'm going to show you what that is. So we're going to go to um, our catalog, manage products, and we're actually going to search for this phone right here. Um, I'm just going to copy the name, the name of it, so I can search in this, and it's going to come up here. Cool. So. Uh, in here at the very bottom we have this thing called custom options and this is really useful so i'm going to take two videos to just talk about custom options and the first ones we're just going to go over some of your uh, option types so let's add an option and this option is going to be let's say color this particular uh, phone comes in multiple colors so the title is going to be color and we want this to be a drop down you notice there's a whole bunch of other inputs uh, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, and go over those. So is this required? Uh, we're gonna say yes, this is required. We want this to show up very first amongst our custom options. And we're gonna click add a new row. And I'm gonna add a few rows here. And we're gonna say blue and black, well not in all caps, black. And then we're gonna have a special edition red option. And the red option is going to be, let's say 10%. Um, actually, I don't need the percent sign. It's just going to be 10% more. Uh, so let's add a sort order of 0, 1, 2. And believe it or not, uh, these have the same SKU. Well, now, now we're going to worry about SKU for this option. This option does not change the SKU of the phone. Where in some instances it probably would, but in this one it's not. If it did, I could add a new SKUs here and it would no, be no big deal. So let's click save. And Okay, so we have our phone. Let's go to our phones page. Now I'm going to refresh it, and we should see these custom options become available. And um, you'll notice here, oh, we <laughs> we still have a, a sale going on. But uh, if you'll notice, this red phone is twelve dollars more, so it's ten percent more than the other phones. If we select this, our price is going to update in here and here. If we move this here, our price is going to update back. If we leave this as please select and we try to add this to our cart, it's going to tell us this is a required field and it's going to get all mad. So uh, this is really nice, uh, specifically so you don't have to do all this attribute setup in the back end if you just have a one-off or even maybe specific things. Uh, you know, just if it's not going to be on every single product, then there's no reason to not use this. In another way, we could actually even come back into here and let's add something different. Let's add something totally different. So we'll go to custom options and let's add another one. So we can add as many of these uh, custom options as we want. So this one is going to be, let's see. Um, so we're going to actually have a checkbox here. Let's say um, this was something very important. You wanted to make sure 
that uh, there's like a disclaimer. So we're gonna say disclaimer, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, spelling and typing and talking is really hard. So let's uh, let's have this be sort order um, one. So it's gonna go below our dropdown. And notice how we're gonna say is required. So uh, this isn't going to change the price. It's not gonna have a skew and it's not gonna have a sort order because we're only gonna have one option. And we're just going to say, I agree. So this is maybe saying to you agree to the terms of service. Um, let's even just say terms disclaimer. And this way, your customers are going to have to check this box before purchasing. And notice how it doesn't do anything different to the product. But maybe you wanted to have just a verification that they want read something. You know, terms disclaimer. I agree. Yes, I agree with the terms and I add to cart. If you didn't check I agree with the terms and we still have our color selected, it's gonna say, you know, you have to agree to these terms. So let's click agree, add to cart, and we have our new phone in the cart. Perfect. So these are just some of the things we can do with custom options. In the next video, we're gonna be going over a few more of the options you have with custom options and some of the cool stuff you can do. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. You can hit me up at, at @stolinski. We're on Facebook. We're all over the place. So just uh, leave us a message. We love hearing from you. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.